We've seen doctors with dirty hands, a freak MRI accident, and now we're at the end of my list of 25 shocking medical mistakes. The ER waiting game came in at number two. And at a shocking number one, waking up during surgery. You go in, you go under. That's the way surgery is supposed to go. But it doesn't always happen that way. There was a pain. There was a pain that you cannot deal with. It just goes on and on. They're on the operating table, paralyzed, unable to move or speak. They feel every poke, every prod, every cut. I just kept praying, God, please just knock me out. Just knock me out. Let somebody know that this hurts so bad. Their nightmare is called anesthesia awareness. Under anesthesia, your muscles are paralyzed and your brain is unconscious. But without adequate anesthesia, your brain can stay awake and aware while your muscles stay frozen. An underdose of anesthesia can happen for a lot of reasons. Sometimes it's just a goof. A vaporizer gas tank gets disconnected or is empty. The physician has the vaporizer on thinking that they're providing anesthesia to the patient, but they really are not. They're undergoing surgery with no anesthesia. Undergoing a surgical procedure with no anesthesia, I mean, that's, that's not defendable. Anesthesia awareness happens to about one out of every 1,000 patients. Most are awake and aware, but not in any pain. When you schedule surgery, ask your surgeon if you need to be asleep, because sometimes numbing just the surgical site could work instead. No good doctor ever means to hurt you. Doctors and nurses and everyone who takes care of us are just like us, human, and make mistakes. Now you can help them get things right. I'm Elizabeth Cohen, and I hope this hour makes you an empowered patient.